is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason from Denworks. Got something pretty cool. Today, got a 1956 GMC carry-all, Suburban. Super, super cool. I love this thing, totally. We just killed it, but go ahead and start it back up. It's still running. But anyways, runs really, really good. Six cylinder, 270 in it. It's just a cool rig. I mean, just look at it. I can see it with a big rack on the top with all the fishing gear, canoes, pulling a little boat. Kind of like that little feather craft that I sold up bring a trailer and kind of like that rack that I had on that old Buick. It would just be really cool. I actually put new tires on it. The tires were on it that were fine, but I wanted something that looked a little bit more like, like a truck, something that says, let's go fishing or let's uh, go on a hike. So put brand new tires on it, even when I didn't have to, but I like the look of that in general. So we'll just start here to the front, to the back. I love the GMC front ends on these stuff, these things, just a lot of chrome, just a, just a good looking, looking rig, you know, overall. So we'll just start here to the front from the back. Go ahead and uh, turn the lights on. Got marker lights. I didn't tell them where the lights were at. This is funny. Right there, those yeah. ones. Okay, right there. Pull on out halfway. <laughs> so halfway, <laughs> funny. We don't rehearse this stuff. Halfway turns on the marker lights, and we got regular lights and then bright lights. Where our lights are on the floor, blinkers. Got our left, and we got our right. So all those are working. So we'll just walk around to the front to the back. Original license plates, 1956 Oregon blue plates, really cool. You can see the bumper has a little bit of wear. You know, you see some scrapes, little scratches, little ding right there on the uh, the grill. Little scrapes here and there. Definitely, this rig has been driven. It really hasn't been restored. I think it's just been cared for through the years, and little paintwork here and there and. Interior is mostly original. I'll show you that here in a little bit. But you can see here, there's no rust. This is actually a pretty common area on 55 to 57 Chevys and GMCs, pickups and cars. No rust in the um, eyebrows there. Everything looks good. You can see the little bit of chrome peeling there. Little checking, little cracks, hairline cracks in the turn signals overall. A couple little chips. On the uh, grill here, sometimes it gets a little loose because there's these little tabs that are broken off there. So there's a couple little zip ties uh, holding that a little bit, but it does come loose uh, sometimes. So you gotta watch that. There's, the paint isn't perfect by any means. You'll see some little imperfections in it. Little chips, a couple little dings there. Fairly straight when you look down the side, but it does have, I mean, those are huge panels. It does have a little bit of wave to it in a couple areas. You know, it's not a high dollar paint job at all. And I think that this side, or this side has been painted in the last probably 10 years. They just did one side. So there's kind of just a little bit of mixed paint, but overall the color formation is pretty good on it so it's got original wheels hubcaps trim rings the tires are 7.0 15 by by or lts you know they're actually in really good shape and i haven't hardly put any miles on on these tires i mean maybe about 10 or 15 so far the nubs are still on it i put about 100 miles on it in general and it just runs really good no cracks in the windshield it actually looks really good. And you'll see up there, kind of that little visor area, natural visor, there's no uh, rust or anything. 
bottom of the fender looks good. A couple little bubbles there at the bottom of the door. A couple little spots here on the rocker and the leading edge of the fender. Little bubbles there. It's pretty common on old rigs like this. If you look on the inside when I put it up on my lift, the inside of the rockers look really good. The floors look good. Structurally, this is really good, but this stuff here is pretty heavy uh, surface uh, problems. But you might have to uh, you know, do a good repair here down the road or just leave it, you know, not mess with it. You know, a lot of people will probably garage this. You can just kind of fix things as you go. No rust around the lip here. It looks really good. You know, a couple little imperfections in the paint. I love the windows. These all slide. This one slides forward too, so you get plenty of ventilation. A couple little chippings and stuff here around the windows. A little delamination right here around the uh, wing window. But the wing, wing windows work and everything. Original mirrors. Right here, the gutters. Something I always look for in classic cars. They're really clean. No bubbles or anything like that. A couple scrapes on the roof. Hopefully you can see there and on the other side. I think there's a couple little little small dents. I think there used to be a rack on this at, at some point. Well, when you look here at the side, yeah, actually right here, there's a little, little crease right there. Look around the uh, channel on this side. Again, really, really clean. You can see some pain inf imperfections here. You know, it's, it's just perfect because you're not afraid to actually drive this one. You know, and it gets tons of thumbs up. Everyone's looking at it. Everyone's waving. You just don't see something like this at all these days. So we'll go ahead and uh, flip it around here so you can see the other side in the light. Hey, just wanted to flip it around so you can see see it better in the light on this side. You know, again, it's just really clean. Just a clean looking rig overall. So if you want to look here, there's a couple little imperfections, chipping. This side has a little bit of clear on it. You can see a little clear came off right here. A couple little imperfections in the paint. Again, the paint isn't you know show quality or anything like that. Just really nice driver quality paint but it it looks great you know I forgot to mention we do have an Instagram page you can just type in Denworks D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S you can get on Facebook too but we actually use this in some of our family photos I had it out there in the in the field with our donkeys and and cows and the whole family so if you get on Instagram or something like that I was, I'm gonna start loading some pictures up in general of it so We'll go ahead and uh, look around the wheel lips here. You can see imperfection in the paint. A couple little scrapes there on the bumper. A couple little bubbles right there at the door. A couple little chips and stuff right here. A couple little tiny bubbles chipping along the edge of the door here. Go ahead and roll the window up real fast here on this side. Window rolls up and down. Nice, I just thought about that. Maybe you can hit the other one. Go ahead and look at this rocker. Actually looks really good on this side. A couple little chips. A little chip in the paint there. Around the wheel lip looks good. But you'll see a couple little bubbles going on here and here in the back. You'll see all these in the photo and everything. You can see the original spot welds. You know, the thing isn't, you know, a Bondo Queen or anything like that. It's actually really solid solid rig so we'll go you can see a little crack right here pretty common area in these in general so go ahead and uh, go ahead and rev it up a little bit you know it doesn't blow smoke it actually runs really good I love the hitch on the back so if you've got a little trailer it'd be perfect go ahead and uh, turn the lights on you can see the even the light works here in the center Blinkers, brake lights, got blinkers on the right, 
blinkers on the right, left. Do you have the brake lights on now? And then off? You can see they went off and on. What about uh, just regular lights? There we go. Oh, there's the brake lights. Yeah, it's hard to see out here in the light. This is really cool too when you flip this down. I'll do it actually. See this? It flips down so you can actually see the, the license plate. It's got like kind of a little, there's a little rod right there. And so when it, it kind of pivots, which is cool. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. You see a little ding here and a little tiny crease uh, right there on that hinge. You can see the back bumper definitely has some checking and stuff, but overall looks really good. Little paint imperfections, little paint peel right here, but overall in really good shape. We'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. I was going to show you the interior real fast. I actually already have it locked. You got to put the key in this way. Wiggle it a little bit. Opens right up. It's actually really cool interior in this thing. When I got it, it's kind of funny. You know, you can see this is all original back here. You know, the front and back, or the middle and the back seat. Very, very original seats have not been recovered. But when I got it, it actually had, it's kind of weird, it had a tan seat and then a brown um, kind of allure in here. I don't know why they didn't do them at all, but maybe they couldn't find the original material. So I went to SMS, which they are awesome because they have NOS material. And this is NOS seat material here. And we got as close as a match as we could. That's yellowed just a little bit, but this is what color is supposed to be. So this will probably age really nicely against it. But I wanted to have it factory looking. You know, it was just something I didn't have to do, but I thought it looked really nice, you know, just to have NOS material in here. And when I got it, it had reproduction handles on it, which were brown. Uh, so I had the material put on these armrest as well. So, you know, if you look at the dash, super cool. I got the hula girl there. She's going to go with the car, the uh, Suburban here. So you can see a couple little holes right there. Must have had something else uh, mounted on there. But <clears throat> I love the uh, steering wheel. This is a nice add. You know, a couple little cracks here in the steering wheel, but I just love how GMC continued the uh, look inside to match the exterior. One of the most important things we're looking at here as well is, you know, no accident damage in here. It's not rusty. It's actually really clean. Original tag. And, you know, if you look through here, it's, it's actually really nice. You know, I haven't seen any accident damage or anything like that. You can see all the original spot welds going down. Underneath the seat is really clean. The jack and everything is underneath there. You can see here's a handle and a jack as well. So I'll look at the bottom of the doors. Again, look really nice overall. You know, window felts look like they've been replaced, not here but in the door, at least on this side, you know, so a couple little scratches right there. You can see the odometer says 48, 314. All the gauges seem to be working in it. The, uh, you can see this here. I think there's, that's where a radio went. This has been screwed shut. You can't open that and you can't open this one here. But overall, looks clean. Original floor mat. Wires haven't been all monkeyed with underneath. They actually look really nice. And hasn't been tam tampered with. You know, it's just a nice little, uh, I call it a survivor. You know, that's been kept through the years. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hop on the other side. 
Hey, here I am on the uh, passenger side. Just wanted to show you that the key works in this one as well. You know, I won't spend as much time on this side. But again, the dash and everything looks nice. Glove box, cardboard's all in there. Overall, pretty clean in general. The seat actually flips forward so you can get in it uh, nice and easy. All the seats are painted. You know, I'll just take a look at the seats real fast. Here, you know, they look great. No rips or anything like that. They actually look really nice. You'll see more uh, photos of them in general. The floor is really nice, original mat and everything in it. You can see the headliner. All the panels are original and look nice. You know, the uh, the dome light does work too. I, I forgot to show it, show you it over there, but you just twist twist the knob and that light will come on uh, there for you. So I'm not going to run over there and show you, but I show a picture of it in the auction. So we'll go ahead and uh, take it for a spin, put it up on my lift show you a bunch of other stuff on it in general just a real quick quick look here at the jams you know again they look really nice overall so you know it's amazing this thing is you know 1956 2006 that's 50 years 60 64 years you know pretty pretty amazing that it survived like this we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff go ahead and uh, show you the trunk I already showed you how that light flips down in the photos you'll see there was some foam and some chains on here and yesterday I didn't like it because it wasn't original and they just looked ugly and they weren't functioning uh, real good so we actually got some cable and put in here and <clears throat> These slide back in so when you uh, lift the gate up they slide but the th thing I didn't have was correct weights so when you lift this up you kind of got to feed this back in on both sides now you can do it by yourself and I've got a camera uh, in my hand but um, I'll show you I'll show you to uh, see if I can do it by myself you can see back here the floor the rubber has come up along the edges you know, this is actually an original plywood floor uh, in that, and it looks great. You can just see the headliner and everything here. Again, looks good. No accident damage. You can see all the original spot welds. I think the color is a Seminole uh, red or brown uh, is the original color. And I think it's a Dover white or something. You can see no rust down here in the bottom of the door. Actually pretty clean. I don't know what these holes were for, but I think they had those chains. I don't think that was factory. I think someone drilled some holes in there. So anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, lift this up. And all you have to do is just kind of, we put a weight on there, but it wasn't enough. You think probably have to have some kind of lead. But, you know, if I didn't have the camera in my hand, it, uh, it'd be a lot easier, but just fish them in there. And the other thing, stupid me, you gotta let that down first. And then, that's just there, so. Simple as it uh, can be there, so. We'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. going to go ahead and take a look underneath the, the hood here. We'll actually do a cold start on it. There's a little lever just kind of off the center there a little bit. So go ahead and just lift the hood open. A little harder with one hand but I did it. 
you know overall really clean inside here 276 cylinder we did do a minor uh, detail to it painted the engine put a new valve cover gasket side cover gasket oil pan gasket and then we went ahead and redid the intake and exhaust manifold gasket as well you know repainted all this but overall I think it looks pretty good I even hand painted the GMC on there pretty steady hand but I'm not a pinstriper by any means so you know overall looks really clean in here you know original fire firewall color looks good and you can see the inner aprons are actually really nice this is an original uh, here it's an overflow tank that's nice to have but you can see here no crinkles in the front no accidents or anything like that no rust actually pretty clean if you look up here underneath the hood original chalk mark 955 I don't know what that means exactly and you can see underneath here it's not rusty this is actually a pretty common area we also put uh, decals and everything on on some of the components you can see here on the air, air or uh, uh, oil bath air cleaner stuff and it's got the inline filter you can see the gas is very clean runs on alternator it's not generator 12 volt battery over there so we'll go ahead and do a cold start I can show you here the choke works it's on the dash go ahead and pull the choke there right there it's closed I'll go ahead and grab this you can see here that I'm not burning my hands off this is the intake and this is the exhaust manifold so go ahead and uh, fire her up there we'll hit it probably the gas one time and fired right up sometimes it takes two times but not normally you know you can see it so I'm going to let it warm up here for a second. It actually runs really good. Very, very smooth and clean. I kind of go to half choke now. Let's see the choke. Yeah, go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, it sounds like a little uh, sewing machine. You know, so... Good run a little motor, for sure. So we'll go ahead and uh, check out some more stuff for you. Generator uh, light actually comes on when um, you turn it on, and then it turns off actually when the uh, engine starts running. The other thing we'll see here here's the choke down here, headlights, throttle control. You can hear that. And then this one here, the two speed fan, and you got your controls here with the uh, vents and everything like that. You can see low and high. So all that works nice. Three speed on the tree and aftermarket uh, blinker. We can see the blinkers work in the dash uh, real fast. I think, I can't remember, I'll put it back in neutral. Oh, that little red one there is for your bright lights. So everything works good there. Uh, we'll just uh, cruise, uh, cruise around here and burn up the clutch. It actually drives really nice overall. She likes it because she's kind of dancing. But it, it's a nice driving rig. You know, I've had it at uh, 60, 65 down the highway and never misses a beat. You know, it's just, just nice. Right now we're going about 40. I'm going to lay on the brakes here real fast. You'll see that it doesn't pull all over the road. It actually stops pretty nice and straight. 
you know, obviously drum brakes, you know, so. We'll uh, just take it around here a little bit and show you some of the neighborhood. take a look underneath the little carryall real fast this is actually the second thing I do when I look at a rig in general you know I walk around it for a second and then I hop underneath and check stuff out I'm looking for rust I'm looking for you know repairs weird repairs accidents and so so it's I think it's good to do a video instead of just still photos you're still gonna see still photos on the auction obviously but I can just walk around and talk about it, uh, just a little bit more things that we did. This is my cat, Kit Kat, cute little thing. So anyways, she's been helping out. I don't know where Stanley's at right now, so she'll make sure I point out stuff. So we'll just walk here from the front to the back. We did put new shocks on it, front and back. You can see though, those are Monroe's. You know, we did check out the brake lines, took the wheels all off, brakes look good, on it, cylinders look clean. So, <clears throat> overall in pretty good shape. One thing I found interesting, because I haven't had one of these, look how many Zerk fittings. It's crazy on both sides. And in the rear, we went ahead and hit them all. Those are there, I believe they're factory, you know, just to lube your, lube your springs. Pretty cool idea. You can see these factory dampeners here. <clears throat> That's something I've never seen actually on something like this, but they are GM. If you look up underneath here, really clean. You know, no accidents up here. You know, this is something that really hasn't been restored. It's just been cared for, you know, through the years. So, no damages or anything up here. Really important to look here. This is where the body mount area is here. Really clean, bottom of the cowl is really nice overall. Hope you can see that, that good. You know, very, very clean. We did put a new oil pan gasket on it. And like I mentioned before, we did a, a just a mild uh, cleaning of the engine and stuff and, and just a detail. <coughs> When you see 719 or 819, 619, that means that we, doesn't mean that was replaced. It's just the last time we checked the uh, transfer oil. So if we do it on the rear end, transfer cases, if it's a four wheel drive, and you know, this case with the transmission. So we did uh, replace the fluid in it and replace it in the rear. So that's what that date means. And I even wrote it you can't see it right there, but there's a 719 on the side of the pan. You can see up there. I just wrote that. That's when we we uh, redid the pan gasket <coughs> on it. Oh, right back over here. You can see this is really clean up in here. The body mount looks good. Bottom of the cowl. This is usually a pretty serious area, you know, that that gets rusty on these cars and I'll show you this headlight <clears throat> real fast here again super clean let's take a look at the tires all the nubs are on them I mean I, I don't even have 10 miles on those tires so far <clears throat> exhaust is nice all the way back it looks like about a two inch could be two and a quarter. If you look here, the foot wells, again, very, very nice. Very clean, no rust in there. You can see the back of the rocker looks good. All the drains aren't clogged. You know, very, very nice. Take a look at this side real fast. 
Again, same thing with this rocker. And the rocker is really, really clean. You can see the footwell here. It's nice. <clears throat> there was a, and here's the gas tank. There is a little patch right here. I don't even want to touch it because it's not, not really leaking or anything like that. Um, I just don't want to mess with it in general. You might want to take it off there and repatch it in general, but it doesn't leak on the floor or anything like that. But it's just a little loose here on the edges, so don't want to mess with it. So that's something you could put a new gas tank in it down the road or just take that off, drain the gas and, and repatch that there. But right now it's, it's holding. So you can see here those Zerk fittings again and look how much, how much grease, you know, through the years. <clears throat> Inner wheel well, super clean. Look at all the original spot welds along the edge. I already showed you these little bubbles when we were walking around the outside. The original floor is like a plywood. It actually looks good. You know, the floor pans up front are nice too. I didn't really show you those. You can see here the floor, floor plans look really good. You know, super clean body mount again. Nice on both sides. There you go. Go ahead and show you this wheel well. Getting all the spot welds. Look good. The hitch is really neat, as I already talked about. I've never seen one like that. Older spare tire. Here's the shocks. And you can see where changed the oil there, gear oil. So Hopefully that gives you a good look in general, you know, just real fast at the back of the cab here, you know, it's not rusty, actually really clean back through here. Let's take you on this other side real fast. It's actually pretty impressive there. So hopefully that gives you a good look in general. Um, it is a no reserve auction, so the top bidder is going to get it. Super cool. Rig, if you got questions, just uh, email me or make a comment on the auction or, you know, give us a phone call. Love to, to help you out. So, anyways, have a good day.